What do you believe is at stake for the former number one pick? Well, I don't think this is necessarily make or break. It's the first year under a new head coach. It's his third year. There's still time for Baker Mayfield. Now, when you're the number one overall pick, expectations are high. People believe there's a lot of talent on that football team. But, look, it's been a, a bad organization. They're coming off of a six-win season. So I think there can be some improvement, but I'm not exactly sure that they are – a playoff team this season much you know and people were picking them to be a playoff team last season so I think they'll be improved I think the operation will be cleaned up under Kevin Stefanski but I don't think this is necessarily like hey all of a sudden the Browns are now you know one of the teams to beat in the AFC well it's interesting so so last year maybe we were all overrating them now maybe are we underrating them D Wood if you just look at the names on the backs of the jerseys you would think the Browns should be a really good football team do you think they're a playoff team <clears throat> no, I do not. And I think it's a, it's a credit to uh, two other organizations within the AFC North and the, and the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Baltimore Ravens. I always said that when it comes to if we're if we're if we're trying to choose between who's better or not, I'm going with the better head coach, better run organization. And, and that's why I picked those two those two ball clubs. Listen, Cleveland Browns have all the names that you could possibly think of. They've addressed the offensive line. They got two stud running backs. They got wide receivers. They got a guy on the defense side of, on the defense side of the ball that's a defensive MVP candidate. All of that means nothing if you if you don't have the right culture, the right coach in place to make everything happen. And that's the really that's really the big question in Cleveland. Do they have the culture and do they have the coach to have the Browns make a jump into the playoffs? I don't think it, I don't think this is going to happen this year. Well, Bobby Carpenter, for those who don't know, you host a sports radio talk show in Columbus. I'm sure you take a lot of calls and have a lot of conversations about the Browns. What are the fans expectations for them this year? I think the fans are very optimistic. They really like Kevin Stefanski and what he was able to do in that Minnesota offense and get the most out of Kirk Cousins. The reason for Baker Mayfield, why it's so critical is this is his fourth coach in his third season. And so if you look at it, he's not going to be able to get to a fifth coach. If they end up moving on from Stefanski because they haven't had success, a lot of that's going to fall at the feet of Baker Mayfield. He has everything that he needs to be successful. And so this is his opportunity to become the franchise quarterback in Cleveland. If not, he could be going down the road of Alex Smith, who's a great quarterback who played really well in his career. But if you look early on, he has Mike Nolan. He has Mike Singletary, Jim Tom Sula, then Jim Harbaugh. And they're ultimately trying to find a way to get rid of him. And you just don't ever get a chance to settle in and become that guy for the franchise. And so if Baker can't do that with Kevin Stefanski this year, he's probably never going to have that opportunity again. I get it. But, but Bob, when you say the fans are optimistic, what exactly does that mean? Will, will they be satisfied if this team isn't in the playoffs this year? Green, the Cleveland fans have been <laughs> pessimistic for so long. It was bound to turn at some point. Last year, I think it was a little bit too much. It's with... I think they're right on the cusp, man. This is a 9-7 and seven team. I don't know if they can get to 10-6. and six. And the problem is, like Woody said, you have Lamar Jackson and 14-2 Ravens from last year. And if Ben is healthy, Pittsburgh is a real threat. But that is another big concern. How good is Ben Roethlisberger going to be after a year off? Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.